I was born well after the Great Depression of the 1930s, but growing up in the 1950s troubled economic times of the coal region of Pennsylvania, I heard stories and was often cautioned about a repeat of the collapse of the economy. The safeguards put in place seemed to me and to most to be quite adequate to forestay such a repeat. After all, the American experiment of capitalism and democracy had proven to be the best form of government and economic structure. Such cautions were discounted, and the affluence of the 1980s and the 1990s was seen as an unending characteristic of the future. Wars were fought to make the world safe for democracy, in the words of President Woodrow Wilson, and military actions were taken to free other nations from dictators. When President George W. Bush was considering an invasion of Iraq to allow the people to enjoy the democracy we know, Pope John Paul II and the Catholic Church in the United States of America asked him not to do so. Although the Church has time and again supported our form of government and the right of private property, we saw a major flaw in trying to impose it without including the elements upon which the American success was based. The United States of America was founded by deeply religious Christians. The government that was proposed was based on Christian values, even though there was an effort to separate church and state. With the slow extension of separation to abandonment of religion, the door was opened for an abandonment of ethics and morality. In a speech to the United Nations, Archbishop Celestino Migliore, the representative of the Catholic Church, noted this fact. He said, The real crisis does not appear to be merely financial, economic, and technical. He continued, Rather, it extends to the broader realm of ethical codes and moral conduct. He called for accountability to society at all levels of the economy. The common good must always be considered. The activity of lending and borrowing must be directed to allowing the savings of some to benefit others in a temporal need, and not just ways for some to get rich. Unreasonable risk to savers hurts all society. The Archbishop also encouraged the general public to make more responsible economic choices, living within one's means. Archbishop Migliore urged governments to invest in people, especially in aid to the poorest populations, since such investments alone ensure the harmonious functioning of society as a whole. Let us do our part to assure a world built on Christian values.